Hey everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be decorating a phone case, kind of like recycling all phone cases. And I'm using like acrylic phone case. Then I'm going to be using some black paint and my brush. And I'm just going to start painting but the edges, just the edges of my phone case. And I'm just going to be giving this a few coats. Again, I'm using just acrylic black paint. Nothing special or fancy. Once I'm done painting, I'm just going to let the whole thing uh, set in here. One of my spray perfumes. And this is what it looks like while the thing is drying. So for the next step, I'm just going to be using something different. Now you can go ahead and use a spray gloss. But I'm going to be using this satin gloss that is supposed to be for polymer clay. I actually got it from the craft store at the polymer clay section. The thing with this one is that you have to apply it with a brush instead of like a spray. But I'm just going to paint it or just cover the black surface that I did before with this good old uh, brush that I have for years. And I'm just going to give this a couple of coats once I'm done covering the whole thing. I'm just going to let it sit and so then I'm just going to be making a template for the next step because it's going to be easier. So I just used a piece of paper and my pencil and just followed the shape of my case. And then I'm just going to cut the whole thing. And then I figured it's going to be much easier if I do this kind of like space for my camera. Even though my camera technically doesn't work. But still I just want to make it so you could recreate this part as well. I'm just going to cut that bit. And I went a bit back and forth in this step because I went back and painted my case with both my black acrylic paint and my satin finish to just cover the new gap that I had on my template. Then I'm just going in with my plate or my flannel fabric. But maybe, you know, in your local craft store you're gonna find something similar to this. But I'm just going to cut a piece of fabric. I'm just going to place my template and I'm just going to, using my tape, I'm just going to gather those things together because it's going to be easier for me to cut my uh, fabric. To be honest, that's the only way that, that I figured I could cut my fabric without destroying the whole thing, pretty much making a mess in there. But then I'm just going to cut it and once you cut the whole thing, you're going to, to have to remove bits that are on the corners and... Just take your time with this, cutting the whole thing, until you're pretty much happy and, well, it looks like an even cutting. Then I'm just going to place that on the top. And I'm just going to be working with my Mod Podge, actually, to, you know, use it as a glue. With my brush, I apply one coat of my Mod Podge all over the place. And have my piece of fabric, at this point, cut it already on the top. Tap it gently until it's pretty much set. Leave it, you know, for it to dry for 24 hours. And I did remove the excess glue that I had. So the reason I added my satin gloss uh, first, then the fabric, and then nothing is because I did my little experiment here. The first one is using my pot match under, then gloss on top, and it turned kind of like black, and I didn't like it. Then the second one is applying mud potch on top and under. I get the same effect, although it's a bit glossier. No, I didn't like it. And then I added my Mod Podge under my Sculpey satin on the top and this is what it looked like and it looked kind of like black to me. So I ended up not liking it. And then the last one, which is actually the one I went for, is just adding some Mod Podge on the bottom and nothing on the top so the pattern doesn't get too dark. It looks kind of like vibrant and still pretty cool, I think. So it's pretty much up to you and what you're looking for. But if you want your pattern to be as vibrant and feel the fabric as it is just don't apply anything at all i just love plate i am obsessed with it i just thought of drawing the whole like pattern on my phone case but yeah i just wasn't feeling the whole thing i just want to go for fabric on the cell phone i actually have like plate uh, leftovers that i'm going to be using for diys coming soon so don't forget to check those out and share this one if you liked it i really hope you like it go for it it adds something really cute and unique to your phone case i talk to you later thank you for watching bye guys